end up this way for the for the uh, purple emperor. I'm White Admiral. Anywhere here, really. You keep, keep going. Yeah. Seen some? No, no, I'm going to just come in, so. Ah, right. Yeah. Going for firsts always gets me anxious. I always feel somehow underprepared, which is odd because I count myself as a pretty competent naturist. I came to the banks of the Trent and Cannock Chase, armed with a good tip off for a chance of seeing Adder. Sunny south banks and perfect heath habitat. But I dipped. Probably because it was so hot so early that all were away hunting in no time. The morning was not lost though, as I chanced a dawn encounter with one of the few wild fallow deer bucks belonging to the remnant ancient herds stretching back millennia. I don't think I've ever seen a more handsome individual. Trekking back, I crossed paths with many folk, some on horseback, and a fresh deposit pricked my attention, as almost immediately attracted a red admiral butterfly. It's probably going to be with some disappointment that you'll learn a lot of butterfly species are attracted to dung and carrion. They find it's a good source of nutrition and vitamins. I'd never witnessed it so obviously, and this got me keen to push on for more lepidoptral encounters. I headed back closer to home, among the rich agriculture of Warwickshire, and a preserved ancient hay meadow, Draycott Meadow, one of Warwickshire Wildlife Trust's fantastic reserves. Just now, a month before being harvested, it's rich with blooms like yellow rattle, common lousewort and bird's foot trefoil. and a real personal favourite, a common spotted orchid. The 
there's an incredible variety of grasses too like Coxford many varieties of oat and a multitude of fescues it's often assumed that butterflies rely on flowers and a few nominal other plants but many also rely on grasses including this one, the appropriately named Meadow Brown. The Meadow Brown's caterpillars feed on fescue. Males patrol the meadows, scenting out female pheromones. And when successful, they mate low down in the sedge. The whole butterfly copulation process is fascinating, as the male, joined to the female by his physiological clamp, abdomen to abdomen, deposits not just sperm, but a spermatophore of hefty proportions. You can just see it here. This package has a sack of sperm and a host of nutrients and vitamins for the female to ingest, helping her with egg production. It was great to see such a private and personal moment of the meadow brown, but I knew this meadow had another grass favouring and relatively rare stunning butterfly. With perseverance and passing a small tortoiseshell, I eventually found one. Nectaring on its favoured thistle, this is the marbled white. Marbled whites are very local south of the Midlands and virtually non-existent north of it. This, only my second encounter with the marbled white, got me fired up to find more. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Final destination of the week, a mega butterfly site. Oversley Wood, about as far south in Warwickshire as you can get. Here live butterflies of legend, amongst many others. Canopy of the vast oak trees in Oversley support a population of the almost mythical purple emperor butterfly. Incredibly rare and incredibly elusive. This late June, early July is the start of their season and my chances were slim. But other delights could be found. Thomas and I were tipped off that this muddy verge was a hot spot for Emperor 
that come down, much like that Red Admiral in Canuck, to take nutrients from the wet earth. But maybe our timing was wrong. Maybe the wind was too strong. Or maybe it was just a little bit too busy. Hours passed without a single sighting. All was not lost though, as the sun filtered through to the flowering bramble behind us, and the nectaring hour began. First in, a stunning peacock. And then, the best ever views of the incredible leaf-like brimstone. Comma came next, displaying its neat little white comma underneath there. And this was followed by ringlets, some feeding, some basking. Next we were in store for a real treat, a beautiful green veined white. Again, neither of us had had better views. We thought we'd had our fill, and we were very pleased with our lot. But just as we planned to depart and think of another day, an apparition gracefully fluttered in, and simply took my breath away. I had my first after all. This was the White Admiral, one of our rarest woodland butterflies. Filming with a racing heart is never the easiest and this relatively small, dark butterfly with snow-white flashes may appear completely innocuous to some, but a lifetime of wanting and wishing was now fulfilled as it negotiated the bramble blossom and then basked in our company as we did in its. That's all for vlog 29 guys, I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it, I'm really looking forward to vlog 30. And yes we will, we will, all of us together, connect with the Purple Emperor I'm sure sometime in the next few weeks. Just to think of the title though, what could that be? The Purple Patch? Meeting His Majesty? We'll have to wait and see. But from now until next Sunday, it just leaves me to say goodbye.